Okay, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're gonna hang some extra meat on this project by adding some B-roll footage. So let's go ahead and play, and I'm not gonna do a lot of explaining. I'm just gonna be dragging and dropping footage. And this is the point where you can really start getting more creative with the story that you wanna tell. And I'm just gonna showcase what I'm gonna do really quickly, and you can just follow along, and you can do whatever you like on your end. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and play just to get an idea of what the audio is telling me that we need. Go is right behind me. But Cut Yeti's not why you're watching this video. You're here because you're interested in becoming a video editor. And that is awesome. Video editing is hands down one of my favorite things about being a filmmaker and media producer. Now your journey towards becoming a video Okay, so everything I just now said, I really want to hype up the idea of being a video editor. I want to make it seem like it is the most noble profession, and I want to be something that doctors watch this and think, wow, man, if only I was a video editor, I could impact so many people. Yeah, I want physicians to rethink their life choices. What if they hadn't slacked off and actually committed themselves to a life of video editing? Just imagine. Okay, let's look at our footage. So, I want to incorporate <laughs> another Cut Yeti logo if I can. So let's go ahead and Shift F to zoom in. I mentioned yeah, Cut Yeti in here somewhere. Horns coming out of the side of my head, and that's because our Cut Yeti logo is right behind me. But Cut, Ye but Cut Yeti, I want to have a but Cut Yeti right there. So if we go under Animation Other, we got a Cut Yeti Zoom animation. Just want the video. Let's see how this feels. And that's because our Cut Yeti logo is right behind me. But Cut Yeti's not why you're watching this video. You're here. Let's have Cut Yeti come in a little bit sooner. Right behind me. Probably whenever I say but. Cut Yeti logo is right behind me. But Cut Yeti's... And let's go ahead and just scroll up so I can actually see my audio. It's not why you're watching this video. You're here because you're interested in becoming a video editor. And this is where I want to put my fun video editing footage. So let's go down here to B-roll. Let's not worry about sound effects anymore. I'm going to go ahead and close this folder close the audio, close the animations. That way we can just see a little bit easier. So if we open up B-roll, we've got lots of footage. I've got a few things labeled. We have editor one, two, three, frustrated one, two, three, hip editors, A, B, and C, keyboard shots, Overland Park Studio. Tell you what, let's just go ahead and start off with hip editors. And let's see what we got. Okay, we got a nice wide opening shot kind of setting the space let's go let's look at hip editors b okay we got an over the shoulder from him to her hip editor c we've got both their hands on the keyboard i'll tell you what if i worked in a studio like this with these nice you know lofty windows and open space i tell you what i would feel pretty good about being an editor all the time now what i would probably do is this big empty space over here, I would probably put a big trampoline there and every 15 or 20 minutes on the dot, I would take a break from my keyboard and go jump on it like Tom Hanks and Big. But that's just me. So let's go ahead and drag a few of these shots in. I'm gonna drag in Hip Editors A. You're here because you're in this video. You're here because you're interested in Okay, now, question. Whenever I look at this clip in my timeline, it is not the same clip I see over here. And the reason for that is this clip is actually a 4K resolution clip. The project that we're editing in is a 1920 by 1080 HD project. So if I click on this B-roll clip, Hip Editors A, if I go to my Controls tab, Look at my clip properties. Oh, nope, never mind. My transform properties. If I scale this thing down 50%, now 
comparing to the trimmer, it's the same clip. FYI, 1080p, if you're, tr uh, if you're editing in a 1080p HD timeline and you've got a 4K shot, 4K is 100%. If you want to do 1080p, you just need to change your scale to 50% and it's going to match perfect. So this video, let's see how this feels. You're here because you're interested in becoming a video editor. And that is awesome. Okay, I'm going to hit shift G to zoom out a little bit. This shot goes on for a little bit too long. Let's see where we want to cut it. You're watching this video. You're here because you're interested in becoming a Let's go ahead and just bring in B. And what we can do, we've already seen B in the trimmer. What we can do is we can just take it from the project media panel and just drag it right on in. This is a big clip. So we have some options. We can drag it in and we can slice and dice in the timeline, or we can do it a cleaner way. Let's go ahead and control Z and we can just do in and out points up here. Oh, I like that smile that she's got right there. Let's go ahead and hit D to mark in. Let's go ahead and hit the space bar to play. Right there. F marks out. Now I'm just going to drag and drop it right here. Let's see how this feels. Because you're interested in becoming a video editor. It feels bad because once again, this is a 4K clip in a 1080p timeline. We're going to go up to controls. Transform, 50%, hit enter, and now let's see how this feels. Video, you're here because you're interested in becoming a video editor. And now it's struggling to play back. You're interested in becoming a video editor. So, whenever your computer starts to struggle playing back files, you can come over here and you can adjust the quality of your viewing screen. So right now we're at full quality. Let's go ahead and take that down to quarter resolution and see if that does anything for us. Video. You're here because you're interested in becoming a video editor. Okay, now we're getting into some of the nasty side effects of hit film. Whenever you go to quarter resolution, even though we've resized this clip and made it 50%, and this is what we're actually going to get. Whenever we hit play, this is what hit film will show us. And that is awesome. Video. It pops us in and shows us the full 4K resolution, editor. which is and that is awesome. Not what video. we want at all. So what we can do, let's go ahead and just change quality to quick and see if we can increase our quality back up to full and see if we can get some kind of like happy compromise. Hit the space bar to play. Yeti logo is right behind me. But Cut Yeti's not why you're watching this video. You're here because you're interested in becoming a video editor. And that is awesome. Video editor. And that feels pretty good. Now I wonder if Hit Film is struggling because we have two 4K clips, one here and one here, and they're right on top of each other. So what if we just drag this one down? Will hit film play better? Let's go ahead and hit the space bar and find out. Me. But Cut Yeti's not why you're watching this video. You're here because you're interested in becoming a video editor. And that is awesome. Video. It's not playing much better, but it's at least manageable. Now, I wouldn't mind cutting to the next shot, which is the keyboards. I wouldn't mind doing that right about there whenever I say something new. Video editing. Video editing. So we're going to go ahead and just mark an in with a D, mark out with an F, drag and drop it right down here. It's going to be 4K again. So we'll highlight that clip, go up to controls, transform, and let's change the scaling to 50, hit enter. And there we go. Let's go ahead and backtrack and just play through and see how it feels. Behind me. But Cut Yeti's not why you're watching this video. You're here because you're interested in becoming a video editor. And that is awesome. Video editing is hands down one of my favorite things about being a filmmaker and media producer. One of my favorite. So this shot just feels like it's going too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim it back a little bit. And let's incorporate some other shots. Let's see what this Overland Park one. Oh, he's happy. Let's check out this one. This is kind of cool. 
Let's use the D key to mark an in, F key to mark an out. Let's go ahead and drag this one down here. And once again, this is a 4K shot. But to tell you the truth, I kind of like this framing. It's showing more of what he's working on, whereas this one's just way too wide. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit longer of a shot. Let's see how this feels. This is awesome. Video editing is hands down one of my favorite things about being a filmmaker and me. We got a weird movement going on in the shot. Let's go ahead and extend this, see if we can find part of the shot that doesn't have a weird movement. Now your journey and one of my favorite things about being a filmmaker and So right about there it starts to straighten up. We trim that, just drag it over, and let's see how the shot feels. Awesome. Video editing is hands down one of my favorite things about being a filmmaker and media producer. And even though I like this framing because it's more tight and we see more of what he's working on, it's exacerbating the amount of camera movement that we're seeing. So if we highlight the clip, go up to controls, and since this is a 4K clip, if we click 50% and hit enter, makes this clip actually representative of what the shot is, but the camera movement is going to be much less noticeable. Let's go ahead and play through. Behind me. But Cut Yeti is not why you're watching this video. You're here because you're interested in becoming a video editor. And that is awesome. Video editing is hands down one of my favorite things about being a filmmaker and me. So we're going to trim this, make it a little bit shorter because I really want to incorporate his smiling face just a little bit in the shot. And once again, 4K, we could be happy with this and get a good shot of his nose and his teeth, but probably not the most flattering shot in the world. So we'll go up here to transform. 50% is the magic number, hit enter. And now this looks better. And let's go ahead and just trim this back. So that way, whenever I come back to start talking, I'm already there. Let's see how this feels. Right behind me. But Cut Yeti's not why you're watching this video. You're here because you're interested in becoming a video editor. And that is awesome. Video editing is hands down one of my favorite things about being a filmmaker and media producer. Now your journey towards becoming a video editor. And that feels pretty good. Now if we zoom out, shift G, We've done our happy editor section right here. Now over here, there's going to be like a frustrated editor section and we have some footage up here to do that. And let's see if we can find that. Let's go ahead and hit spacebar to play. PC and a Mac and the learning curve is very easy. Actually, it's over here. Number one, is it accessible and user friendly? You don't. So right here, when I start saying you don't want that's where we would incorporate our frustrated editor footage. So let's go ahead and play through and listen to this. I don't want something too complex that's going to scare you away right off the bat. And number two, the cheap... So right there in that small section, that's where I would put some frustrated editor footage because we want to emphasize the fact that if you jump right into a fully loaded editing program, you're probably going to get frustrated and... Um, feel pretty daunted very quickly. So we want to emphasize that by showing stressed out footage and we have stressed out footage right here. I mean, look at her. She does not look happy. Number two. Yeah, she's about ready to throw that monitor out the window and frustrated three. Yeah, I think he's writing his resignation letter. So those are some shots that you could use or pick from to highlight frustrated editing. We're not going to do that one in this tutorial. You now know like this is how you can bring in B-roll. If you want to incorporate this B-roll over here, you're more than welcome to. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you a little bit of color correction. We're going to clean up our timeline a little bit and get it ready for the final output. So stay tuned.